Hello and welcome to the second part of our video. In the first video, we were trying to draw the outline or the boundary of a two bedroom floor plan as we can see on the AutoCAD drawing environment. And before we ended the first part of the video, we applied the offset command to give the 225 length block wall for the entire perimeter of the floor plan. But before we go on, I'd like you to click the like button and also to share this video with friends. You may as well subscribe to this channel. Now, we are going to start drawing the interior walls and we'll still continue with the use of the line command as well as the offset command. And so, just for us to understand what is being drawn here, somewhere around this point we should have a porch and beside the porch, there is supposed to be a living room here and then we should have a bedroom somewhere around here, a toilet, a, um, another toilet, a bedroom and then the kitchen for this building. And so let's begin. Let's start from, let's start from this point. So let's use the line command and this is what I'm going to do. Somewhere around here, we can see the end point, you know, showing with the green indicator. I'll decide to drag a little bit to the uh, right hand side. And then in the last video, we measured the, the dimension of the room to be 3000 millimeters. And I'll press enter. Now, what this means is that there will be a line that will be drawn from here straight down. Now, to be sure of what I'm drawing, I may just, no need to click on this, just drag it to this point, and then you can see the portion with the, let's repeat this, the points marked X, and then press enter. Now, if you look, we have a very accurate, you know, marking there. So let's produce an offset. Let's assume we're having a wall of interior wall of 225. So all I need to do is click on the offset command. And then the offset distance is meant between 225. And then we'll press enter. Now we click on the offset the object to be to offset and drag it to the right hand side. And there we have our wall. And I'll press enter. Now, between, let's also introduce another wall of 1,000, I mean, length of 1,500. So I'll click enter again, and it will reactivate the offset distance. This time around, we introduce 1,500 and press enter. Now we'll click on this wall here and click and drag to the right hand side. And then again, we need to draw the wall. So, so let's specify offset distance 225 and press enter and then click on the object on the wall and then drag it to the right again and press enter. Now we have a, a you know, we have a demarcation. So the first toilet should be here and then the internal, the second bedroom should be here. So we're going to introduce the second toilet and so we're going to select the command again. Remember the length of the toilet is 1,500 and then press enter. So let's select the object. So we'll look at this boundary here and then drag to the right and press enter. Now we need to draw the wall for that um, toilet. Let's press 225 and press enter. The same command, click and drag to the right and then you press enter. Now what this means is that somewhere around here we have the bedroom we have a toilet, we have another toilet, and then we have a bedroom. Now, don't worry about these lines. In the course of our drawing, we are going to 
um, apply the trim command so that we can reduce the uh, length of these uh, lines. Now, for the bedroom here, let's use the line command. Remember from somewhere here to this point, we have a length of 3.5 meters. So from here, no need to click on it, just drag a little and then type 3,500 and press enter. Now, what this means is that somewhere around here, we can start drawing our horizontal line. So let's take it straight. Let's try and link up. So somewhere here, and then we have our line. Now that means that from this point to this point should give us 3.5 meters. Now we can also add the, an offset to create an eternal wall there. So we have it as 225, press enter, click on this wall, and drag downwards and there we have our wall again we are going to introduce let's use the offset command again remember we have a bedroom i mean a kitchen a, a, we have a bedroom here and then we have a, a, the kitchen here and the dimension for the kitchen was taken as 2775 i press enter now i'll click on this wall and drag downwards and there we have the kitchen now what else again i will press enter and that's pressing it twice i will have my offset distance to add 225 and i'll press enter remember we have the kitchen wall here demarcating the and we have a wall here demarcating the kitchen and the porch and so once I press enter, oh, sorry, let's go back again. Press, enter, click on the wall line, drag downwards, and then press enter. Now, what it means is that this portion here should serve as our living room. This portion serves as the first bedroom. This portion serves as the toilet area. This portion also serves as the second toilet area. We have a point here which serves as a bedroom and then we have our kitchen and then we have our porch. Now, we are going to adopt in the case of the sitting room, let's begin to remove some features here so that we can have it clean. Now, let's, in, let's use the trim command. I'm going to click on the trim command. And here it says select objects. So I will drag and so I'll press enter. Now what it means there is that I can begin to click on the objects I don't need. So Now, when I press escape, I can use the original command for the erase tool and I'll click and there our unwanted objects have been removed. Now, we are still going to apply it to some of the features here. So let's click on the trim command and then let's press enter and then those parts we don't need, remove. We may still remove some parts in future, but for now. And so, in our next video, we are going to continue with the interior uh, walls and we are going to add some other important features here.